Let's welcome the next speaker, Julie Wu. 有请超级之星组选手朱莉吴。Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be exploring what eco-friendly is, and by understanding its true meaning, we can apply new, healthy, and positive changes in our lifestyle. I'll be talking about the product qualifications, how to be eco-friendly, and what is greenwashing. Eco-friendly, also known as environmentally friendly, means to be friendly and harmless to the environment. People can be eco-friendly if they reserve resources like water, energy, electricity, or use eco-friendly products. Now, first of all, product qualifications are eco-friendly products that are safe for both humans and the environment. People can use eco-friendly products. Okay, product qualifications are eco-friendly products that are safe for both humans and the environment. This includes sustainable food products without the use of pesticides or herbicides, and are generally considered non-toxic. Other eco-friendly products include products that were made from recycled materials, such as wood, glass, metal, or plastic. Buying these energy uh, eco-friendly products, buying these energy, buying these eco-friendly products reduces landfills and undergoes less taxing and depletion on the ecosystem as a whole. Now, becoming eco-friendly is when we learn to consume products that cause minimal environmental harm to the environment. For instance, such as buying energy-efficient products. Buying these energy-efficient products with five-star energy rating use uh, use less energy and has been known to be eco-friendly. Other ways to be eco-friendly is to lessen our carbon footprint. In other words, to walk or bike more, and as a result, drive less. For instance, people who buy locally grown products would likely walk there, and thus can reduce pollution or the amount of bags that the, that the cashier offers if they only bought a small portion of things. Those are ways to live an eco-friendly lifestyle. Finally, greenwashing is when companies, governments, or other groups label themselves eco-friendly, but when reality. They operate in a way that damages the environment. Greenwashing has been mostly used to label fictitious marketing companies who sought to increase their sale products by appearing to be a green companies to attract ecologically conscious buyers. Now there are ways to avoid these greenwashed products, and it is to see if they've been approved or not. It can be approved by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, such as the Energy Star Program. Other groups, such as the Green Good Housekeeping Seal, and a lot more. Ladies and gentlemen, I talked about the product qualifications, how to be eco-friendly, and what is greenwashing. Becoming eco-friendly has been a goal that everyone is leaning towards, and even though these are practices and habits that continuously improve through time, we have to keep in mind that bringing others and supporting others together is the main goal of what eco-friendly is. Because it benefits everyone at the end. My name is Julie Wu, and thank you all for listening. <laughs>